If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. Subreports in Access let you view the data from one main report and related data from a separate report inserted as an embedded subreport within the main report. This lets you view related information from two reports at once. It can also make the relationship between data and two related reports seem clearer. You can use subreports to show summary data from a main report with detailed data from a related subreport. When you create subreports, you may want to first create two separate reports based on related data. However, this isn't required. You can create a subreport within a report from almost any database object you have already created, including tables, forms, and queries. To create a subreport in Access, open the main report into which to insert the subform subreport control in report design view. Ensure the related subreport to insert into the main report is already created if needed. Also, ensure you enable the Use Control Wizards button by clicking the More arrow in the lower right corner of the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools contextual tab in the ribbon to show its drop down menu. Ensure the Use Control Wizards button is highlighted, which means it is enabled. If not highlighted, click the button in the drop down menu to enable it. This makes it much easier to create a subreport. Then click the Subform Subreport button in the scrollable list of controls in the Controls button group on the Design tab of the Report Design Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Then click and drag over the area in the report you want the subreport to cover. If you enabled the Use Control Wizards button, then the Subreport Wizard dialog box appears when you release the mouse button. In the first screen, select which database object contains the data to use in the subreport. You can select either the Use Existing Tables and Queries or Use an Existing Report or Form option button. If you select the latter option, then select which report to insert as a subreport from the list that appears. Then click the Next button to continue. Alternatively, if you selected the Use Existing Tables and Queries option button in the previous screen, then the next screen shows you a drop-down list of the tables and queries in the database from which you can select. For whichever table or query you select, then choose which fields to show in the subreport by clicking their names in the Available Fields list, and then clicking the right pointing arrow button to move them into the Selected Fields list. Then click the Next button to continue. In the next screen, select how to link the data in the main report to the data in the subreport. If you select the Choose from a List option button, then select one of the listed ways to link the data from the list below the option button. After selecting the way to link the data and the reports together, text describing the relationship appears below the list. This helps you view the relationship when the description of the relationship selected in the list extends beyond the edge of the list box. Alternatively, if you select the Define My Own Option button, the screen changes the section below to show two columns of drop-down menus named Form Report Fields and Subform Subreport Fields. Use the drop-downs to select which field in the main report is related to which other field in the subreport. You may connect multiple fields if necessary. The text description of the link you create appears below the drop-down menus. When you have created the necessary links between the reports, click the Next button to continue. In the last screen, type a name for your subreport if needed. Then click the Finish button to complete the insertion of the subreport into the main report. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.